Hello everybody, I'm Storm here and today I wanted to just kind of give an update on the channel and things that are going to be happening with the channel over the course of the next couple of months or so. Uh, first thing is, is that with the conclusion of the Transport Fever series, you now have an open time slot. Now there is Transport Fever 2 that is coming out here in a day or two. And there will be a Transport Fever 2 series coming to the channel, but it might not be for a little bit, maybe a month or so, because I want to get in, I want to play with it, I want to build a map, that sort of stuff. So that might be a little bit before it starts. So there kind of is a bit of an open time slot, and I am going to be starting a new series with a different game, something quite different from what I normally do on my channel. So expect that in the next few days, probably by the end of the week. It's going to get started in the old Transport Fever time slot. Now that brings me to uh, what the plans are going to be for Stellaris and Hearts of Iron 4. Now the current Hearts of Iron 4 series is proceeding pretty well, but is probably in the final stretch. So... Once, you know, we wrap that up, that, you know, basically once we defeat the common turn in Hearts of Iron 4, then that series will be ending. And with the Stellaris series, we're kind of still in the, the mid uh, middle of that game. I don't kind of see where that's going to end anytime soon. But, I mean, at some point, that series will be concluding. Um, probably not for a few mo months yet, a at the very least. So normally I would just say, well, you know, that probably means we're going to be starting up some new series in Stellaris and Hearts of Iron when those finish. But actually, that's not going to be the case. And that is because of the fact that I was able to get the Horse Lord Mega Campaign back up and running. Because of that, and because that will be heading into Hearts of Iron 4 and Stellaris itself, I want to leave those two games open for the Mega Campaign series to head into. Because I don't want to be doing two different series in the same game at the same time. Just don't really want to do that. So when the heart, current Germany campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 ends, going to basically leave Hearts of Iron 4 alone until the mega campaign gets through it and then resume Hearts of Iron 4 as normal. Sort of. And then eventually when the current Stellaris series finishes, going to leave that game open for the mega campaign to play through Stellaris. So that's the current plan. So for most likely in the Hearts of Iron 4 time slot when that finishes is when I'm going to do Transport Fever 2. But then I'm going to have another open time slot where the current Stellaris series is. Not sure what I'm going to do there yet. So, yeah. Just kind of want to give an update on that. So expect a new series to start here in a few days. And then, you know, we're going to be putting, you know, Hearts of Iron 4 and eventually Stellaris on the shelf um, for a little bit to let the mega campaign clear through those two games before resuming normal series in those games. So, kind of a long way to put that. All right, just wanted to kind of put that out there um, so that, I guess, people who are interested kind of can get an idea of how things are going to be proceeding on the channel over the next few months. All right, so, hope you guys... Enjoy watching the new series, I guess. I don't know where I was going to go there, but I'll see you guys next time.